Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to my channel, my name is Mr. Lawrence and in today's video I will show you the top 5 solo glitches in GT Online. If you do go on and enjoy today's video, drop a like and subscribe for more awesome videos. There will also be timestamps in the description below and let's get straight into it. First I will show you how to get this awesome modded outfit, so a checkerboard outfit with handcuffs and a trash vest. This is a transfer glitch, so equip the outfit that you want to keep, because the others will get deleted. Then open your pass menu, go to online and swap character. Also don't forget to like and subscribe with post notes. Your main character has to be a male and your second character has to be a female, otherwise the glitch will not work. If you haven't already, create a second female character and load into online. Then make way over to any clothing store, if they don't appear, fight a new session and they will appear. Once you are at the clothing store, remove any accessories that your character is wearing. Now go to the shoes, boots and buy the Ash Winter Boots, number 78. Head over to the pants, jeans and buy the black cropped. Now go to the top section, go to tucked t-shirts and buy number 11, the black classic. Stay in the tops, go to leather jackets and buy the black cropped biker. Now go to the accessories, chains and buy number 46. Now go to the glasses, casual glasses and buy the copper marbles. Now go to the head section, canvas heads and buy the second to last one. Save this outfit in your second slot. Now take the easy way out through your interaction menu. When you respawn, start creator. Once you are in creator, create a race, select tutorial and accept this alert. Now open your pause menu, go to online and swap character. Now you will need to delete your second character, so your female character. Once you did that, press circle or B to return to story mode. Once you are in story mode, start an invite only session. Now when you are back in online, you should still have the outfit that you didn't want to lose, so just save that outfit. You should also see that the outfit from your female character is transferred over. So now just equip this outfit and you have the checkerboard modded outfit. The second glitch is a really easy and fun launch glitch. First go to this exact location on the map. When you are at this house, grab any weapon, a pistol works best. Then go into first person. From here, you will just need to hold X or A to sprint and then go over this like wall. You should then bounce up in the air. If you hit it right, you will go pretty high, so I will try again. Here you can see that I went pretty high. 
Now I will show you how to wall climb with a BMX. The only thing that you need is a BMX and any flat building or a flat wall. First practice on a low wall. So what you will need to do is cycle towards the wall that you want to climb with a good amount of speed. Then jump against the wall and right when you touch the wall, hold the brake button and start tapping R1 combined with X. Also try to keep your BMX balanced by moving and pushing the left joystick forward. I know, those are a lot of buttons, so I will give a quick summary. Pick up some speed, jump against the wall by pressing R1 and when you hit the wall hold L2. Then start tapping R1, X and keep your left joystick forward. So these are the buttons for Xbox. RB to jump, then hold LT and start tapping RB, A and keep your left joystick forward. I'm still learning this but I'm getting better so if you are really good at this you can climb up a whole building. So that's how to wall climb with a BMX in GT Online. The next one is a simple wall breach. First make your way over to this location with a normal bike. Then drive straight into the left garage door and push forward. If you did it correct, you will fall right into the top part. You are now in the garage and you can still shoot outside but only underneath this garage door. Now this is not really a glitch, so this is a bonus trick to do how to fly upside down with the Oppressor Mark II. So first you will need the Oppressor Mark II of course, then find a flat surface. This can be a building or just a flat wall. Now slowly go up against the wall or building and pull your left analog stick back. If you do this faster, you will kinda make a backflip, but right when you are upside down, stop pulling your joystick back and start steering. Now this is the most difficult part and it requires some practice. So when you are going down, push your left joystick forward and if you are going too far up, pull your joystick back. You are flying upside down, so the controls are also reversed. We will finish this video with a really simple clothing glitch. First go to the accessories and go to cuffs. Then equip the spiked cuffs, both the right and left one. From here, open your interaction menu, go to style and change appearance. Now go to apparel and change your outfit. The spiked cuffs will stay on all these outfits, even on the ones with long sleeves. When you got an outfit that you like, save and continue and wait till you are back in online. When you are back, you will have your outfit with the spiked cuffs on it. So you can't change the top, but you can change the pants, shoes and also add accessories, glasses, masks and helmets. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video and I will catch you in the next one. Bye bye.